Joseph Hendricks. I am a certified grade checker. To be certified means I can read an engineer's rule, set up a transit to level, and do grade checking. I'm going to show you the grade checking process. It is done in six steps. Let me show you. Okay, for our first step, identify the benchmark. For example, here's our benchmark. Step two, determine points of interest. There's point one, point two, and point three. Number, uh, step three, set up transit. For example, here's our transit. Step four, determine the height, take the readings, and verify the height. So I'm going to first determine the height. For height, is 3.00 feet. That is the height of our instrument. Okay, then we're going to take readings. For our first point, it is at 8.00 feet. For our second point, it is 2.00 feet. For our third point, it is 4.75 feet. Come back here. We verify the height once more. Again, it is 3.00 feet. Okay, and then for step five, we will calculate, cut, and fill. So for point one, we had a reading of 8.00 feet and a height of 3.00 feet. We're going to subtract three from eight, that is 5.00 feet. And it's going to be a fill because if the reading is more than the height, it is a fill. For our second point, our reading was 2.00 feet, the height was 3.00 feet. We're going to subtract 2 feet from 3 feet. That equals 1.00 feet. It's going to be a cut because if the reading is less, in the height, it is cut. And for point three, we have a reading of 4.75 feet, a height of 3.00 feet. We're going to subtract three feet from 4.75 feet. The answer is 1.75 feet. It is a fill. Step six, we're going to communicate information. Thank you.